Here is a graph of the greatest integer function. Using this graph and the definition of the greatest integer function, let's investigate where this function is continuous and discontinuous. Remember that the greatest integer function, or floor function, simply rounds the input down to the nearest integer. That's the greatest integer that's less than or equal to the input. So for example, when we input a half, something like right there, that gets rounded down to zero. When we input one and a half, that gets rounded down to one, the greatest integer less than or equal to one and a half. Looking at this graph, it's easy to see that the greatest integer function is actually discontinuous at every integer. Looking at x equals one, for example, as we approach one from the left, the limit of the function is zero because the function has a constant value of zero as we approach one from the left. But the limit as we approach one from the right is one. So the sided limits are different and thus certainly the function is not continuous at x equals one. To be continuous, the sided limits need to be equal and they both need to equal the function's value at that point. And again, we see this same behavior at every integer. As we approach zero from the left, the function's values are negative one, so that's the limit from the left. But as we approach zero from the right, the limit is zero, because the function is equal to zero that whole time as we approach from the right. So again, it's discontinuous at this integer value. To more formally state what we're saying, if k is an integer, then the limit of the greatest integer function of x as x approaches k from the left is k minus one, because if x is approaching the integer k from the left, that means it's a little bit less than k, and so the greatest integer function will round it down to k minus one. On the other hand, if x is approaching k from the right, then x is a little bit bigger than k, and so when the greatest integer function rounds it down, it's going to equal k, and so that will be the limit. Thus, this establishes that the sided limits at each integer are not equal, and thus the greatest integer function is discontinuous at each integer. So that's where it is discontinuous. Now where is the greatest integer function continuous? As it turns out, it is continuous everywhere else. If k isn't an integer, then the limit of the greatest integer function of x as x approaches k from the left is just the greatest integer function evaluated at k. For example, if k is equal to 2.1, when x approaches from the left, it's going to be values that are very close to 2.1 but are less than 2.1, such as 2.09 and 2.099, and the greatest integer function will round those down to two, just like it would round 2.1 down to two. When k isn't an integer, it is between integers. So for example, if k is 2.1, it's between the integers two and three. And any number between those two same integers, two and three, is going to get rounded down to two. And that's going to be the behavior of all of these x's that approach non-integers from the left. The same thing works from the right. If x is approaching a non-integer like 2.1 from the right, then it might take on values like 2.101 or 2.1001. Either way, these are non-integers between two and three, and so the greatest integer function will round them down to two, just like it rounds k down to two, in the case that k is 2.1. And notice, not only are the sided limits equal, in this case where k isn't an integer, but also the limits are equal to the greatest integer function evaluated at k. Thus, that establishes continuity. Remember, for continuity at a point C, the limit from the left must equal the limit from the right, which must equal F 
of c, and that's what we've got here. Thus, the greatest integer function is discontinuous at every integer, but it is continuous at every non-integer. That's why, and again, the picture confirms. Let me know in the comments if you have any questions, and be sure to check out my Calculus One course and Calculus One exercises playlists in the description for more. Thanks for watching.